Hello and welcome into the LTA Creations Studio. Today I'm going to do a painting about spring. So let's get painting and I'll tell you more. The first colour is Sap Green Hue by Golden and that colour actually makes my base colour up as well, which you can see here I've added white to it. And you can see the consistency, it runs straight back into the cup. We're doing a Dutch pour, so it's quite thin. I'm set up for a split colour Dutch pour, and I actually use two, the two greens are slightly different tones that you can see here in the camera. I'm going for a spring, new life, trees, like the buds on the trees that are about to spring into action. As you can see here are the little buds I took some pictures of as inspiration for this painting. So I start with my golden sap green hue. And it's followed with the Premium Craft Smarts Indigo. All the colours including the base paint are mixed one part paint two parts flow troll and water to thin it out. This is Artezza's Bordeaux Red. I love this colour. I'm a bit hesitant about putting it on. This is Brass by Blick. And this is Deco Arts Americana Antique Gold. I just put a little bit on and then the last color I put on is Arteza's Pearl Turquoise. I just put it on the tips because I don't want a lot of it in there. I'm pouring on the edges. Now my aim when I blow this out is to keep these two branches happening and leave that green section in the middle as quite a substantial space still. These two sections together are quite tight. Before I began blowing with the hairdryer, I did contemplate blowing it out with just my breath, but I didn't go that way in the end. Part of me wishes I had. I've actually reusing a canvas to paint this painting that has resin over the top of it. And I'm not sure if it's because of this resin. I get these amazing cells. The painting was damaged and I didn't want to waste the canvas, so I thought I would reuse it. As you can see, that goal of having that middle, that left bottom left corner on your screen empty and green didn't happen for me I spread the paint out just that little bit too much because of the hairdryer but I work on it just to see what I can create with the composition and I do think about it quite a bit we're moving fast forwarding through it here but I also cut out a bit of time as I thought about it. I thought, let's get rid of this section in here. So I've got more of a green. And I take out that blob. The red, the amount of red on the canvas, the Bordeaux red, is more than what I wanted as well. So I actually start to remove some of it from the painting. It's just a little too overwhelming. If you think back to that photo I showed you of the leaf bud right at the beginning, it does have red in it, red and green, which is why I put the Bordeaux red in there. 
but I didn't want it to be as dominant as it ended up being. I really wanted the green to shine through and I probably needed more of that dark green, um, the sap hue by golden to come out more. So I keep trying to create this inner green section. But there is so much paint in the middle of the canvas that it keeps pouring back in on itself. So I think, what am I going to do? I'm loving the cells. But in the end, I decide to tip it. I'd be interested to know in your feedback whether you think this is a good choice or not. Um, it's always hard when you're in that moment. What am I doing when you're not happy with something? Do you make a choice and end up with something better? Or do you end up with something you're, not, you're less happy with? But I was really quite happy with the way this turned out in the end. It wasn't what I planned but it's still very fascinating and interesting. I love the cells, that they're unusual shapes. This, because I tilted it, I have this long section through the middle, these stretched out um, paint, and I actually really like that. And while it wasn't what I wanted to do from the very beginning, it is achieving that spring, new life, the leaves about to bud, all the energy that is contained inside of that little bud that is about to burst into a new leaf. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I did want to mention that I went over a thousand subscribers and a friend Susie in Australia was my thousandth person. But I really want to thank everyone who subscribed before that and has subscribed since that. I love it every time I see new subscribers um, join. The feedback I'm getting is wonderful. It's so encouraging and I really appreciate all your support. I love the questions. So keep that coming. Let me know how you like this painting hung. This is option one, option two, option three, option four. Remember my saying, don't hesitate to create. And we'll see you next time. Bye.